to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kelly. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today's going to be another handbag related video. As you can see by the title, I'm going to be reviewing two things that I picked up from Sarah Mart. As you would have known if you've been a subscriber of mine for a while and you've seen my previous videos, I have shopped Sarah Mart a couple of times in the past and I have had some great experiences with their pieces and so I wanted to just review a new style of handbag. So if you do want to know a little bit about Sarah Mart and to also see my review of these new pieces that I've picked up then just keep watching. So for anyone that doesn't know what Sarah Mart is, it is a luxury replica website. I don't know why I'm doing air quotations. It's a luxury replica website. They do do some dupes and then they do do um, complete replicas as well. With regards to that they have different tiers so depending on the price point that you want to spend obviously the more money you spend the more lifelike and better quality the pieces are but you can get some great pieces for a very affordable price which you will see when you see the pieces that I've picked up. So just to give you a reference in terms of delivery because I know a lot of people do seem to ask that question when I do these types of videos how long does it take for your order to get to you? So they usually say to give up to 40 days for your item to actually get to you so I ordered my pieces on the 7th of September and I was actually fortunate enough to get mine within 20 days so I got mine on the 27th and I wanted to instead of doing an unboxing this time I actually wanted to use the pieces first and so that I could give you a little bit more of an in-depth review about the quality of the pieces rather than you getting my first impression and me kind of giving like an off the bat review this way I can kind of like tell you how the pieces wear as well so I'm really excited to share my experience with you because it is a positive one. So I'll show you the first piece that I picked up which is the biggest piece in this haul which is a handbag and I wanted to try a different brand. I have a lot of replica and also designer inspired handbags. I don't have anything I believe from Coach and I think Coach is an absolutely beautiful brand but obviously I'm not really wanting to part with the money for a real Coach handbag only because my style changes so so much as you will see I've just posted a video recently where I've been selling stuff on my Vinted and so I don't like to buy expensive handbags because like I say my taste is always changing my style is always evolving and so I just like to keep my budget a little bit tighter so I'm absolutely in love with this handbag and you'll see why. First and foremost, can we just appreciate the style of this handbag? It is an absolutely beautiful shoulder bag, but you can wear it as a crossbody, but we'll get into that in a little bit. But I just absolutely love the colour. Do you not think that it's perfect for this time of year? This kind of like autumnal beigey colour. I know beige is like super, super popular at the moment anyway, but I just absolutely love this creamy beige colour. I think that it's absolutely beautiful with the contrast as well of the black piping and the gold hardware. I just think Oh, chef's kiss, like I absolutely adore this handbag and I love the size of it. I think that it's big enough to where you can actually take your daily essentials, but it's also small enough to where you could maybe like take it on a date night. I think that would be really cute to wear it. It's just a really versatile bag. I would wear this bag day to day. I would also wear it for a date. So to have so much functionality in one handbag is a massive bonus for me. So I did have a look for this bag online and I did see it selling secondhand on a couple of different sites. You're looking at about 400 to 450 pounds secondhand. I saw it on eBay and then on a site called My Bag as well, um, where it was being sold secondhand. So for this particular bag on Saramar, I paid 23 pounds and 75 pence, which is just to get a bag this beautiful for under £25 is just an absolute steal and I think that it's such a bargain, especially because it is such good quality, but we'll go into that in just a second. With regards to this particular handbag, I did actually look on Sarah Mart to try and link it for you guys. This exact bag's seller is no longer selling this item, however, I've actually found the exact same bag from a different seller on Sarah Mart, so I will make sure to link it down in the description box for you. It is a tiny bit more expensive, so I do apologise, but it will definitely be worth it, trust me. So one of the first things that I actually thought when I did pick up this bag, when I unpackaged it, it came in a very thin dust bag, but... That's kind of what I expected for the price. It's obviously not going to be the same quality as one of my previous unboxings that I did, which was from Bag Show, where I unboxed a Chanel replica handbag. It came in a beautiful Chanel box, and it was just, it was such an experience. This one came in a very thin dust bag, which doesn't bother me whatsoever. The bag wasn't damaged in any way, so I was just happy to receive it. The one thing that I will say when I first got this bag is it did have a really strong fake leather smell. I can say that the smell does go away after a few days of wearing it. I think you just need to air the bag out a little bit and it does smell so much better now. I'm not getting that kind of like punch in the face 
face, but it was a really strong smell. Another thing that I will say about this bag is the material of it is buttery smooth. It is so, so soft to the touch and for the price, again, I'm really blown away by the quality of the material. The, I had a look around the bag as well and there don't seem to be any imperfections on the stitching, which again is really shocking for the price because usually when you pay a lower price point, usually you'll find kind of like frayed stitching or stuff like that. But on this particular bag, I actually can't see anything and I'm really happy about that fact. So the bag does have minimal hardware. It has this beautiful C logo on the front just for coach and it's kind of like surrounded by gold hardware the clasps here are gold as well and then when you pop the bag open i am using it currently at the moment so let me just take my stuff out actually okay so when you open the bag here you can see it's got coach new york written here one thing that i will say about this is it's in really good condition so the lettering is completely straight there's no chipping or lifting or fading on the lettering and i have had that with some previous replica bags that i've had not from saramar but from other companies and it just looks really good and like i say the stitching again on the inside is very good quality too then you've got the zip in the middle and you do have two compartments either side on the interior it's kind of got like a faux leather material as well so it's really easy to wipe down if you have something spill in the bag and i like the fact that you have this extra secure bit in the middle because it is quite a small bag if you don't want to carry a car holder you can maybe just put some cards that you need and a little bit of cash in the middle and it will be completely secure also on the zip it does say coach new york so it's added that little extra detail i will say with the hardware it kind of looks like it's like a really rich kind of aged gold which i actually really love the look of i think that it does look really lovely with this bag and then when you open the zip up it's material on the inside of the zip section but it's a really decently sized pocket so again you could fit quite a few things in there and then at the front here you've got kind of like a patch pocket on the front i don't know if you would want to use it for anything but you could like if you had um like a train ticket if you had like a receipt or a card that you wanted to keep there then you could do that if you needed quick easy access because when you do close the bag over it would be secure and then the magnet on it is super super strong it's really sturdy so it's not going to go anywhere i also love the fact that it's so structured so it looks like this all the way around and then there's nothing on the bottom it kind of like goes up a little bit so with this bag it does come with two straps so this is the shoulder strap i will make sure to show you what it looks like on my body type for reference i am five foot six and a size uk eight to ten so you can see what it looks like on my frame i would say if this was maybe an inch longer this would be my perfect shoulder bag which is so disappointing but it is passable as a shoulder bag it just comes up quite high quite close to your armpit and so kind of loses a couple points for that but it is an absolutely beautiful bag and i do love to wear a shoulder bag that's kind of the reason why i wanted to buy it but i also love the versatility that i can wear it with the other strap which i'll show you in just one second so it does come with this cross body strap and the thing that i love about this is it is adjustable so obviously it's going to fit a lot of people's body types because i haven't worn this strap with the bag much it is still a little bit bent from where it was shipped um, so it will take a little while to kind of like work those kinks out but it's really not an issue for me I've had straps come like this before and I've managed to get them quite straight so it, it really doesn't bother me the one thing that I will say about this particular strap is I feel like the quality of this doesn't match the other one or the bag so there is a tiny little bit of frayed stitching on this particular strap also the color this beige color um is actually kind of like bleeding into the piping or the piping has rubbed off on a couple of different places right here and right here um, and also on the back here so it's not noticeable unless you're looking for it and I'm like super up close and personal to this so that's the only reason why I'm noticing it and obviously I'm looking for flaws so that I can feed that back to you guys but if you kind of like just looked at it on the street I don't really think that anyone would be able to notice so it has five lengths that you can choose from I have gone for the shortest one and that works perfect for me for cross body and also you can pop it on your shoulder you could punch excess holes into the strap as well and you could potentially make your perfect shoulder bag but 
I don't really want to risk ruining it just because I do want to wear this bag. And so, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it as it is. But as you know, I love versatile bags, especially because I am a mum to a now two-year-old. He just turned two. Um, and so I need the versatility of being able to put the bag over my body in case I need to carry my son or carry some shopping. It just makes life so much easier for me. So I'm really grateful to have the option to wear it multiple ways. So the next thing that I picked up is this really cute card holder. I absolutely love love YSL. I think that it's just a really stunning, beautiful, classy, chic brand. And I've wanted a card holder for such a long time. Obviously, I don't want to part with the money because this particular card holder from the Saint Laurent website is actually £200. Whereas on the Saramark website, it's actually currently retailing for £18 and 23 pence. They have so many different versions of this but I wanted to go with the chevron print and I also wanted to have the hardware in the gunmetal colour just because I think it looks really good with the darker colour of the card holder. So one thing that I will say about this is there is a little bit of frayed stitching at the edges on both sides but again I think that you'd be able to remedy that. A lot of times when I have like a loose stitch like that I'll literally just take like a flame to it and burn it and it just kind of like fizzles down until there's like nothing left. I'm sure there is a better way to do it so if you do have any recommendations then please do leave it in the comment section down below because I would love to know because yeah I'm pretty sure that it's not really great to, to be burning your um to be burning your accessories. I've just found that that works for me. So it's really super simple and the reason why I wanted to pick this up is because I just wanted to be able to wear a smaller card holder if I did wear a smaller bag. So if you've seen some of my what's in my bag videos you'll know that I use this card holder. It is from Kurt Geiger London and it is absolutely beautiful and I love wearing it but it's just a little bit bulky for a bigger bag especially when I have change in it it just kind of like fills it out a little bit more so I just wanted something a little bit more streamlined this is really good because it has one two sections on the front it then has a middle section here and then another two on the back so I really don't need too many things with me just a debit card and a couple of points cards that's probably all I'm going to need but I just really wanted something like this in my collection and I wanted a black card holder because I just think it looks really effortlessly chic. So this does come in other designs on the website. You can get Chanel card holders, you can get the same YSL one, but you can get the quilted version, which again is super, super beautiful. And I think you can get different colored hardware also. But like I say, I wanted to go for the gunmetal and the chevron print. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. So my loves, that is everything for today's video. I really do hope that you enjoyed it. If you have tried out Sarah Mark for yourself, please let me know down below whether or not you've got any recommendations that you think that I should try. I absolutely love shopping Sarah Mark. I think that their pieces are incredible. It just takes a little bit of research to kind of like find the perfect thing, but they really do have a massive array of stuff to choose from, from hair accessories to jewelry, to card holders and wallets, to handbags, to fashion and shoes all sorts of things like that. They have so much and it's honestly very dangerous for me to shop their site because they have so much to choose from. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did then please do remember to give it a thumbs up just to let me know. Also if you're not subscribed already then please do consider hitting the subscribe button. It would mean so much to me and I would love to have you come back and watch more videos. Also we are creeping up to that 1000. As soon as we hit that milestone I am going to be doing a giveaway on this channel so make sure to subscribe so that you can be eligible to enter the giveaway. Everything that I have showed you in this video will be linked down in the description box for you so make sure to check that out. Other than that I hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!